today's demonstration we will talk about how to parse unstructured command line responses from networking devices using textfsm within Etensure. TextFSM is an open source tool that allows network engineers to parse a network device's unstructured CLI responses and puts them into a format that is machine readable so that the data can be used within the logic of our automation. As this video doesn't talk about how to build TextFSM template, so please refer pyneng.readthedocs.io for template building syntax. To show what I mean, I will bring up a sample show interface on Cisco iOS device. This data can be easily read by a human, but we will need some potentially complex logic to parse out certain data, such as list of interfaces that are currently up. This is where TextFSM comes into play. Let's start with TextFSM Template Builder in IAP. At the moment, we are on Attential Automation Platform landing page. From here, we will navigate to Automation Studio. From Automation Studio landing page, we are going to expand the template dropdown. This dropdown contains both our TextFSM and Jinja2 templates. We can scroll down the list here to see the many different templates which are added from network to code. The automation which we are going to build today involves us displaying the data about a Cisco IOS device's interface to a user. To find the TextFSM template for that, we will search for the Cisco IOS templates using the standard naming convention that are being used in these templates. We will first type the device's OS type with underscore, which in our case is Cisco underscore IOS. And now uh, we will add the name of the command that we are running, that is show underscore interfaces <clears throat> now we see that now we see that the template that we are looking in our search results we can select it to bring up the template builder view within the template builder we can see the data input on the left hand side where we enter the example data. It's the same data which we saw on the device output. The text temp for some template input on the right where the actual logic of the text of some template resides. On the bottom half of the page, we see the example data that is correctly parsed using text FSM. Notice how the interface names in the example data line up exactly with the interface name in our parsed output. Additionally, notice how if we edit any data on the example data pan, it updates it in real time. This template builder is we can create additional template for specific use cases by clicking on the plus sign by dropping down and selecting template providing the name of the template example Cisco underscore um, iOS underscore the command name test underscore test. We can provide a group name which can be Cisco, Nokia, and then select the type and click on create. Now I will demonstrate how to use these templates within Etential Automation. I will navigate to this example workflow which I have prepared. As we can see, this workflow consists of four tasks. The first task will run show interfaces command on the Cisco IOS device. The second task is a simple query task that will query out the result of the data. Uh, 
from run command. The third task is where the text FSM template is being applied on the query result. And as we saw the template name, we are just providing the template name here. And the fourth task is the display of the parse data to a user in JSON format. Let's run the automation to see in action. Now let's select the work task to see the output. While reviewing the manual task, let's see the side-by-side -side view of parse data in workflow task and template designer output. As you can see, we are presented with the parsed output from the CLI response that is now machine readable. We are presented with three different arrays full of information about the show command response. The first array called headers containing the list of different type of data collected in the parsed response. The second array is called mapped is usually the most interesting to anyone building an automation. It contains an object for every row of data collected from the template. In this example, we have one JSON object for every interface where we can, we have all the information nicely parsed out such as interface name, link status, protocol status, and so on. Finally, we have unmapped array which just contains the actual values passed out from the response without any of the additional context provided by the map array the possibilities of what we can do with the parse data in greater automation are pretty limitless for example we can pull out a list of interfaces that are currently offline and bring them up on a certain device or we can find all the gigabit in Ethernet interfaces and give them a certain description and so on. This summarizes the text FSM template builder demonstration. Thank you.